Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on differences between linked list and arrays. Okay, this is one of the most important question they can be asked in viva exams they can be asked in some campus interviews okay now we are going to what are the main differences between linked list and arrays in data structures first point linked list is a collection of nodes each node contains two parts first one is data part second one is link part this link part points to the next node in the given list so for example so linked list is a collection of nodes each node contains a two point each node contains a two parts first part is called the data part and the second part is called the next part or a pointer part or a address part address part so this next part points to the address of the next node in the given list okay why in the case of arrays array is a collection of homogeneous data type elements that are stored in contiguous memory locations okay now consider the second point linked list uses dynamic memory allocation during runtime while in the case of linked list for each and every node we can allocate memory at runtime so that memory allocation is called as dynamic memory allocation so hence we can say that linked list uses dynamic memory allocation at runtime next why in the case of arrays array uses static memory allocation at compile time while allocating memory okay so in the case of array so there are some n number of elements are there in the array for each and every element and also all the elements of the array for that elements we are allocating memory at compile time so that is called as static memory allocation so array uses static memory allocation during compile time here at the run time we are allocating memory for the nodes in the linked list using dynamic memory allocation in the case of arrays we are allocating memory for all the elements in the array at compile time or at static time that memory allocation is called as static memory allocation third point sorry linked list size can be changed during runtime of the programming as insertion and divisions are done but array size cannot be changed during runtime of the program okay why in the case of linked list linked list size can be changed during runtime of the program as insertions and deletions can be done on the linked list but here array size cannot be changed during runtime of the program so that means at runtime array size cannot be changed at runtime linked list size can be changed as insertions and deletions are done on the list next one elements are stored in contiguous memory locations but linked by pointers okay we are already discussed with that linked list is a collection of nodes these nodes are stored in 
contiguous memory locations but they are linked by pointers here element in the case of arrays elements are stored in contiguous memory locations next linked lists are very difficult to maintain but arrays are very easy to maintain when compared to linked list okay why linked lists are very difficult to maintain here in the case of linked list all the nodes are linked by pointers so it is somewhat difficult to understand the pointers and also where we are changing the pointers when insertions or deletions can be done on the list and sometimes memory is allocated sometimes memory is deallocated so that can be maintained is very difficult in the case of linked list but in the case of arrays arrays are very easy to maintain next one insertion operation does not require shifting of all the elements only uh, links have to be modified suppose one linked list is there so suppose you want to insert some element in the linked list at a particular position so at that position we are not shifting all the elements from that onwards only links have to be modified okay to perform the insert operation at a particular location okay only shifting of elements are not there in the case of linked list only links have to be modified here insertion operation requires shifting of all the elements okay while performing inserting of insertion operation in the case of array shifting of all the elements can be done but in the case of linked list so shifting of all the elements cannot be done by in the case of insert operation only links have to be modified next one why in the case of linked list you are performing the deletion operation this deletion operation does not require shifting of all the elements in the list okay only links have to be modified but in the case of arrays deletion operation requires shifting of all the shifting of elements in the array okay next insertions and deletions can be done on the linked list is somewhat difficult but in the case of at sorry insertions and deletions that can be done on the linked list very easy but in the case of arrays insertion and deletion of elements from the array is somewhat difficult when compared to linked list next one the general format of a linked list is this is the general format in the case of single linked list in the case of single linked list every node contains two parts first part is data part data part contains the integer element address part contains the it points to the next element in the it points to the next it points to the next element address in the next node sorry in the case of single linked list every node contains two parts first part is data part data part contains the data element address part contains the address it points to the address of the next element in the list next this is the format of node in the double linked list it contains three parts the middle part contains the data part data part contains the data element so left address left side part is left address it points to the next element in the 
it points to the address of the next element in the linked list so right address points to the address of the right element in the linked list it points to the left element address of the left element in the list it points to the address of the right element in the list okay the general format of array is array elements are stored in contiguous memory locations so here a1 a2 a3 up to an are characters this array is character array the first element address is called as base address it is 1000 next element address is 1000 plus 1 because it is a character array every character occupies one byte so 1000 1001 1002 up to infinity okay this is the these are elements and these are called the addresses next one what are the types of linked list single linked list circular single linked list double linked list circular double linked list and what are the types of arrays one dimensional array two dimensional array multi dimensional array and also three dimensional array is also there so greater than two what are the arrays are there that arrays are also three dimensional is also there three dimensional array is also there and multi dimensional arrays is also there these are the main differences between linked list and arrays so thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe my channel name. so dipela srinivasa rao so thank you Please forward the videos to your friends, classmates and juniors. Thank you.